In class today, I told you I was going to go ahead and post a video about how to distribute fractions, but I realized, well, what's the point if we don't have an equation? So, yeah, I could teach you how to just do this, but it is important that you know how to work with fractions in the equation as well. So I added a little equals 2 at the end of my original problem just to show you exactly how we can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat some of the steps that we talked about in class. What I recommend you do is you pause the video, Try the problem on your own, do your very best, and then go ahead and play the video and compare notes. Don't erase anything you have because if you make a mistake, you could learn from it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to show them distributing 3 fourths to 5x, and I'm going to distribute it to minus 16. Now in order for me to multiply and have life be much easier for me, I'm going to go ahead and put the 5x and the 16 over 1. That way I know when I multiply my numbers, I multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, and that's exactly what I'm going to do next. So 3 times 5x is 15x. 4 times 1 is 4. So that is the first fraction that I got from multiplying these two together. Now for the next one. It's going to be a minus. I get, when I distribute, 3 times 16 is 48 over 4. Now something that I mentioned in class today, any opportunity that you can, go ahead and simplify your fraction. We cannot simplify 15x over 4, but we can simplify 48 over 4, and that gets us 12. So what I recommend in order to get this x value, this whole thing by itself, we add 12 to both sides. And that gives me 15x over 4 equals 14. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and grab my calculator for this one. Because in order to get this x value by itself, I could, and you have two choices, you can multiply both sides by 4 to get um, 15x equals 56, and then divide both sides by 15. Or what I prefer to do in one step is I prefer to multiply this x value by the reciprocal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in a different color, just so you can see. The reciprocal is going to be the opposite. I'm going to go ahead and flip this fraction to be 4 over 15. And the reason why is what, whenever you multiply a fraction by the reciprocal, it cancels out. So the 15s cancel out, the 4s cancel out. But I also have to multiply this side by 4 over 15. This is the same thing. You have, coming up here, you still have your x. It does not go away. So you have x equals. Here, down here, I'm going to put my 14 over 1. Whenever you multiply a whole number by a fraction, it's typically easier to put the whole number over 1. So you multiply the top numbers to get 56. So 14 times 4 is 56. Over 1 times 15 is 15. This fraction cannot be simplified, so this is your final answer. Do not change anything into a decimal. Make sure you practice your fractions.